Am I a vlogger? Do people vlog when they don't have friends? I don't know. But I'm starting to get better talking to myself. A camera. I'm not crazy, I swear. I'm just I just don't have anyone around right now. I have people, I have a great support system. Just no one around right now. And I really gotta let this out out loud. Um, yeah. So I quit my job. Had a really big like burnout and I communicated it to my boss before I just up and quit he kind of like I feel gaslighting me he was kind of like well we just gave you these off days and mind you I had communicated to him hey I don't sleep in the same place consistently due to circumstances unforeseen circumstances uh yeah tried to get housing because I worked at a HBCU really great school got my bachelor's from there I thought it would be nice to go back like in a nostalgic kind of way but you know I, I didn't have to go back but I I see the purpose and why it aligned that I went back so kind of I had to go back right um I learned a lot about organizing and being conscious of time there's a principle of time that I don't care about being on time for a meeting that you could have emailed me all this information, you know? Mm. I don't know. It's just my brain. Um, It's a lot of other things, but this isn't about slandering them. God bless them. I'm grateful for everything I got from there. I'm in a really good space right now because I was kind of like lost because me and my partner were overcoming things. And I really want to apply God to the relationship, but we got to find a middle ground with that. We will. It was real. We will. Um, yeah. Sorry. Sidetrack, sidetrack. I went to the library today. And I got these books for free. And you can rent a laptop. For free, if it's a local library. I don't know other people's rules, but over here. Yes, you can. And yay, thank God for that. Shout out Miami Day. Uh, random, sorry, ADH. Um, see, see, I'm really cool. I'm a really cool individual. Since I just got to talk out loud and really understand myself. But I'm trying to break free from, like, bad patterns. I want to do what makes me feel good and do something that is of good, of God. And I'm just finding my way. And it's a lot of ways I've been a fucked up person this past year. A lot of ways I've been a fucked up person this past year. But, hey, we're here now. Bing bong. Um, yeah. Me breaking free from certain patterns... Something just pushed me to go to the library, and it was a bit of my past self, like making me sit back down on the couch, making me kind of walk in circles in the house when I could have just took a shower and left, but no. Thank God I got out, and I was able to figure out a resource that was right there, and I was like, dang, I can't, I'm kind of, I'm not behind, you're never really behind, but I'm behind on planning certain things that I want to bring into fruition in my life right now in my mind it's like several businesses but it might shake up so I just want to keep my mind open in case I have to watch this again mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or I might do all of them I think someone's home but I wasn't able to find this piece until I lost everything or thought I lost everything Find your peace. And it's okay to start from zero. It's okay to start over. Is someone home? Ah, nobody's home. But, uh, I'll say it's a video diary. I just gotta let this out. If someone is home. But I don't want to just whisper to myself. I'm trying to learn how to be less shameful of my existence. Wow, I didn't know that was a goal. See, talk to yourself, bro.
Talk to yourself, bro. Mm hmm. Not mm hmm, like someone says something in my head. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Not saying that's okay. So, uh, call on Jesus. Yeah, whole lot of Jesus, but yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. When I say it, mm-hmm, I'm pausing. Sorry, I'm just like processing my thoughts. Am I done? Am I okay? I got it all out? Yeah. Starting over is okay. And I was really sad that I wouldn't be able to see my partner for a while because we need space to figure ourselves out. And I did my hair. If I would have been all up under him, would I have known I know how to do my own hair? Yo, I would have been all up under him. And then when I get my next check, I'm going to pay some lady $100 to do something I can know how to do myself. Me and my sisters did this. It's okay to ask for help. I learned that. Wow. It's okay to ask for help. But if someone can't help you, don't take that personal. You just got to keep searching. But I... I it's this analogy, stay at the fountain. I talked about it before on social media, like trying to help another person out there. But I posted it on yeah, Instagram, I think. And I was talking about how staying at the fountain, analogy to staying near living water, which is an analogy in the Bible to God, right? When stuff is crazy, stay close to God. And stay by the fountain, like going back from spiritual to physical with the understanding of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Coming back, coming back, coming back. Do, 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 do. Lost track. Fountain. God, living water, fountain. Stay at the fountain if you go to disney world there's a fountain you go to disney world there's a fountain somewhere it's like pretty easy to find i'm pretty sure if it's, if it's not like in the center you can see it from everywhere or regardless if you get lost go to the center it's probably in the center if not let's imagine it's in the center i hope it's in the center because that would be a really great analogy and placement and then think about the art of architecture come back adh come back Stay at the fountain. Stay at the fountain. If you ever get lost in Disney World, you can find a fountain pretty easily. Either you can find it, like look for it, or you always would know which direction it is. Like there's no way to stray from it unless you're trying to stray from it. You know what I mean? Or it's in the center, like go to the center of yourself. If you believe in God, that's the center of yourself. God's or the Holy Spirit, part of the Trinity is within. Um... Dang, what if someone doesn't understand Christianity? Now I'm just using all these words. Oh, I hope someone understands me. Uh, Google it if you don't. Um, um, but yeah, getting rid of these bad habits. As I get rid of these bad habits and I stay around things that are good, I'm learning this new side of me. Well, not a new side of me, but who I've always been. Like healing my inner child. And understanding that light within me. I have a farming app. I like plants. I talked to a plant today. I don't even know why I spoke to a plant today. But I like gardening. I like gardening. I want to try gardening one day. I like animals. I don't want a pet of my own though. I wouldn't sign up to just clean up poop. Unless I really just wanted something always around. But mm, I don't know pay to clean up poop until it that thing that it came from dies i don't know but these people have a pet in the backyard and i found out because it was this my neighbor had came through and i was like oh god i don't want to talk and i kind of ran away and then i went back there and i was gonna wait like five minutes just looking at a tree just chilling and After I had went back there, I was, 
heard a noise and it was a cat scared to freak out of me ran in a different direction and then I saw these dogs my neighbors have dogs so I'm gonna like maybe throw some baloney back there hopefully like one day I'm back there I can make a friend oh wait wait someone might yell at me I can't just be feeding people's dogs wait no way right don't feed other people's dogs I'm just not mm, maybe I want a dog maybe I just have a lot of love in me I hope they're treating their dog right none of my business none of my business because then I'm going to feel obligated if I'm being over nice. Maybe it's just a lot of love for me. Oop, that's a lesson for somebody. That's a lesson for somebody. Um, but yeah, I, I pray I come back to this in the midst of me. Going on this journey. Learning myself. Yeah. It's a lot of love in me. It's a lot of good in me. I believe that there's good in everybody. But uh, this ain't about everybody. Yeah, I'm being a narcissist. Mm. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Gonna take my shine. Not unapologetically. <sighs> but yeah, this could help someone. And it's definitely helping me. So. Oh, uh, who's that little potato? Little sweet potato. Ram. Um, Jesus, be modest. Okay. Um, 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 um. Um, um, um. Is that it? Am I okay? I got it all out. I feel really good. I'm really excited about my future. Oh. I was gonna write this in my journal, but let's let's chat that out a little bit, um, cause there's something there. Hey, um, working inside of a university taught me a lot about keeping a team together, but admissions. The staff people that I worked with there, they were great. Especially the people who genuinely meant me no harm. God bless all of them. Even if they did. Mm. <sighs> hey, come back, come back, come back. You're okay. Bam, ADH. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Uh, I had a great practice there. And I'm glad I got paid to be a part of that team. Because you don't get paid to be a part of your family, bro. Oh, God, you don't get paid to be a part of your family. You should. Especially if you see yourself as the glue sometimes. In certain situations, God bless you. All the times, for all the times that you were the glue. But hey, you're dope. You serve the purpose in that situation. It's okay to take time for yourself. That's why you get vacation days at work. It's okay to be sick. You need to rest, tend to yourself, or go ask for help to do that, however. So, that's why you get sick days. That's why there's meetings. We all have to talk about this goal to keep us together, to keep this going. Hmm. It's kind of sad how people will leave their family, and then you... Ooh, imagine leaving your family that treated you like shit, and then you go to a job where they treat you like shit. Run. Oh my God, Run. Because you have a choice to leave your job. You can't leave your family. You have the choice to not talk to them. But you, you're always going to be tied. They're a piece of you. You know, physically and spiritually. Um, come back, come back, come back, come back. ADH. Coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back. I'm a little bit brilliant. I just got a lot of shit up here, bro. I just got a lot of shit up here. I'm figuring it out. Figuring it out. Um... Do I have to edit this? I probably would have to edit this. I'm not going to edit this. I don't know. I'm going to edit this. <sighs> it's going to be fun to see what happens. Because I got to post this. This is going to help someone. I got to post this fast. Um, did I set the date? 
Is that a date? Well, it's November 20th. 20... 29. It's Tuesday. Um, oh, it's a little potato. Little potato. God bless it. <sighs> God bless my energy. God bless my space. I am divinely healed and protected. Whoa! Come back, ADH! We don't claim that. Come back, me. Come back, me. Think. Sorry. But yeah. Mm, in Jesus' name. I'm divinely healed and protected. So. So, 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 so. Families. You can't leave your family. Everybody needs somebody. And you're here because of somebody. And some people abandon their family, but whoever God gives you after that. Or if you ever decide to go back. I pray you're okay. And you're moving in love and principles. And you understand the patterns you go through every day. Because you have a choice. A lot of things are a choice. And I feel like subconsciously I was seeking these positions to... Subconsciously, I was seeking these positions, looking for validation. And I feel like in my family, I was kind of trying to get that validation from them. And my family is really cool. We're all just really different. Everyone's got their own thing. But that's okay. That's okay. We don't got to be crazy because we want our own things in life. Or if we have to separate for a bit, you know? Everyone needs a beef. Everyone needs to find their way. But we're all going to the same thing in the end, I believe. But family's important to me. And I'm glad that... Oh, I like family. Family's important to me. Yeah. There's a principle in that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I got it all out. Family is important to me. God is first, though. Am I like a superhuman? I think I hear a spider. Jesus, no. Is that a breeze? Jesus, get it. In Jesus' name. I'm okay. <sighs> but yeah. Thank God for everything. Oh, wait. It's my hair. Jesus. This thing almost scared the heck out of me at night, too. I was like, what is this? Oh, I'm doing all that goofy shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be okay. Oh, I pray I go back to this. Even if I don't post it for a minute. I'm going to be okay. You always bounce back. You just got to stay at the fountain. You are loved. If I'm loved, you deserve to be loved. So why aren't you? Because I know I'm loved. For my own reasons. God. But hey. If you don't believe in God, you better believe you're loved. I pray you're moving good. I pray if you're listening to this, that you're safe. Because it feels good to be safe. And if you don't know how to find that safety, I pray you go to God. 